It's nice to see so many of you outside here in spite of the inclement weather. Amen. Give yourselves a round of applause to that. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Tonight I have a few announcements and I will be starting with this Saturday, the 9th of December. It's going to be our last Saturday night service here. It's not the last service here, but it's the last Saturday night service here. Amen. Amen. So tell your friends and family that we're having our one more Saturday night service to come up. Amen. Amen. Sunday the tenth. Amen. It's our children's Christmas function. Amen. Amen. So all of you who have kids, you can bring them up. Amen. And have a good time in the presence of the Lord. It's our children's Christmas function that begins. What then? Five four. Amen. It starts at four in the afternoon. This Sunday, amen. Praise the Lord.
We are overwhelmed by them. Because we are trying to fight alone. Amen. We are trying to fight this battle alone. You are trying to accomplish things alone. You are trying to do great things alone. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I, am I speaking to somebody? It's, it's, it's not you alone. It's you, God, and the Zambians. Then who is the King of Glory? The Lord God, Tall and Mighty. The Lord Mighty and Pata. Come on, somebody. The Lord what? Tall and Mighty. The Lord of hosts is his name. Amen, somebody. Why did he say the Lord of hosts is his name? Come on, somebody. Because with him there's an army that no man can number. Going before you, standing with you, behind you. Amen, somebody. The host of heaven is with you. Amen, somebody. So Goliath was looking at David and said, But you are not the first one in this thing. All you have to sing is your people are. Come on, somebody. Some of you here tonight, you are thinking what you have is not enough. The, the weapons you have is not enough. Come on, somebody. You are thinking what you want to do is not enough. You aim at somebody. Everything that is in you and around you. Come on, somebody. Satan can take it and destroy you. Or you can use it for the honor and glory of God and defeat the enemy. I have come to learn that everything that you are missing in your life, amen, somebody, everything you need is right or wrong. Amen. Your solution is right or wrong. You. Your miracle is right or wrong. You. Your answer is right or wrong. You. Your deliverance. Your breakthrough is right or wrong. But we cannot uh, see it because we have given up. Come on, somebody. We have what? Given up. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. We have what? We have given up. Some of us have, have sit down on our own and have given up. We have stopped fighting the enemy. We have stopped praying. We have stopped seeking God. We have stopped believing. We have stopped seeking for our way out. Come on, somebody. Amen. And we want God to appear in the grand way. Come on, somebody. We might want God to send a million years to meet our needs. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And we have given up. My God said, I have given you a solution. The solution is inside of you. And if you seek me, you want to find the solution. You want to find the deliverance. You want to find the answer. David said, what he grew up with, what he had in the fields, all what he had. They tried to give him things he could use. King Saul tried to put an arm on him, he used the armor. They tried to give him a long sword of a long and his sister. He couldn't use the sword. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He can somebody. But what he always had with him was more than enough. He can somebody. Because he can somebody. He can your other Paul He said, see your calling, brother. God has called the mighty. He didn't call the noble. He didn't call the rich. Come on, somebody. He said, I have called the foolish kings of this world to control the lies that no flesh shall glory in this present because it's not by might, not by power, but by the A gift, a talent, an ability, an anointing. Come on, somebody. And I'll trust for you. And I'll heal you. And I'll draw you to God. See that if you will draw nigh unto me, I will draw nigh unto you. Amen. Amen. And what David said, he said, Come to me with you. With this big, 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 bigger than me. The enemy is a talent always going to be. Bigger than you. You might be working for a thousand dollars a week and your bills, amen, somebody, is eight thousand dollars a month. Amen. Come on, somebody. The devil always sends something that is bigger than you. Come on, somebody. 
But Abraham, what he said is as big as you, is not bigger than the God that he said. The God that you serve, come on, someone, has given you a promise. That promise is on faith. That promise is on faith. Every child of God, everyone here tonight, faith without it. You can't receive anything from God. You cannot fulfill your promise. You cannot believe. You cannot be delivered. He might, God is touched by what you are going through. Amen. He hurts when you are hurt. He's grieved when you are grieved. He's in pain when you are in pain. But he cannot do anything because he cannot reach you without faith. That's why you should be that covenant of God must believe. Must believe that he is God. Come on, son. So what did they make sense again? Who are you? You want to step on the side first. The dead defy the eyes of the living God. What's up, man? When you face enemies, when people are arguing, when people are fighting, you know, when people are not talking, you know, and people want to belong to you, come on, somebody. And they want to destroy you. And they want to take from you, come on, somebody. They're not fighting you. They are fighting you. Let me see people are here that 
just with this. Amen, somebody. Amen. And with one that I serve, is it that somebody? Amen, somebody. Don't they don't mind on this long vision. I was put on even somebody. Dropped down while he was walking out. Amen, somebody. Let me see before uh, a brief moment. He dropped down while he was walking out. Amen, somebody. Amen. And we pray, amen, somebody. And believe God, amen, somebody. And in that time period, and we pray, amen, somebody. Amen. God and raise him up. Amen. 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 And the doctor said, you sure what happened? I want to say to him, he said, muscle spasm. Muscle spasm, and I got your child cold, cold, and look what? To the world in the world. Yes, he does something. But the power of prayer. The power of prayer. Why? Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. But as we pray, and as we believe God, as God was moving in that service, in that as he was exposing the powers of darkness, God exposed the powers of darkness over that child, and God is bound by his word, and he moved by his Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. 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 Many of us, we have lost faith in the power of the name. We have lost our faith in the power of the name above all names. Amen, somebody. Somebody. And we think we have to see such great grand things happening to know that God is moving. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. All we got to do is speak the word in that name. And if your faith is operating the way it should, if the ability of your faith, no matter the ability of your faith is operating the way that it should, the moment you speak the word, all of heaven is back in you. I said, back David, come on somebody, come on somebody. I said, back David, he said, who are you? The dead is The army of the living God. Did your neighbor say there's an army back in you? The army of God is back in you. The host of and you stand before demon spirits, you're not standing alone. And you stand before witchcraft, you're not standing alone. And you stand in the face of death and sickness and disease, you're not standing alone. All of heaven is with you. Remember Elisha, remember with your servant, remember when they came down in the camp of Israel and all of Syria and Philistine and got them and they camp around them. Amen. And his servant, amen, somebody was afraid. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And they are what? They are more than our enemies. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you who God is. I'm telling you who is with you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But you know, this we must be in agreement with him. The Bible says you can two walk together on this agreement. Say with me, am I in agreement with God tonight? We must be in agreement with God. Amen. Prayer is always powerful. The weapon of prayer is powerful. But prayer takes place with the heart. And if the heart is not repenting of its sin, if the heart is full of the manifestations of the flesh, if the heart, I can lie to you tonight, I can tell you, this is who God is to everyone. God is not this to everyone. God
God is distant to those who believe and have repented of their sins and is willing to come in agreement with Him and to come in a covenant with Him because God is a covenant God. Our woman to come to us and was calling us a covenant after fear. The seers of the prayer, pray the prayer for men. I, I have seen the ability of God through you and what God is able to do in your life. So listen to me. I say, if I, if I allow you to pay me for my gift, I will lose my gift and lose the anointing. I said, it's not about the money. It's about the covenant you are on that. God is not backing every pastor. He's not back backing everyone that calls himself a prophet. He's not backing everyone that calls himself a evangelist. He's not backing everyone that calls himself a teacher. He is not backing everyone. Amen, Sabbath. Amen, Sabbath. They might be good teachers and good preachers. They might have zeal, but he's not backing everyone. Amen, Sabbath. And the first. And the woman came to his mother the first time. Because she had a spirit of But as much as the people who know was preaching and bawling and shouting, they didn't have the anointing to deliver. They didn't have what? They had. Many people go to church for convenience. They look for church to by. We go to a church because the father went there, mother went there, and they went there. Amen, Saman. To go to find a place that God is back in. That God has covenanted with. That God has anointed. Amen, Saman. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Because God is a covenant with God. God is back in David. God was what? The same way that Saul. I want somebody. God was with Saul in the beginning. God anointed Saul to be king. Come on, somebody. God sent Saul in the plane and anointed him to be a warrior to slay his enemies. I want somebody. To do what? Slay his enemies. Amen, somebody. But when Saul disobeyed God, when what? Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of things begin to go wrong with Saul. And the scripture of man Saul as this. God told Saul, listen to me. Do not take the riches of the Gentiles. Do not bring it into Israel. Do not take their sheep, their gold, their silver. Do not take it from them. Do not bring it into somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Just like Saul many times I was Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I had a million years Amen, somebody. But you have a million dollars to deliver their son. Because they don't want to come out of their faith, but they want deliverance. Write that check and show them. Write that check, put it on. There is a million dollars. Come and have my son. Amen, somebody. And I quote the scripture What shall a man give in exchange? For your soul. What shall a man give in exchange for his own soul? That he gain, he can gain his own world and lose his own soul. Nothing in this world is free. We don't understand even somebody. God has placed nothing here to be free. Because of salvation is free. Yes, it's free. Amen, somebody. It's free because they someone paid the price for it. It's free because what someone paid the price for it. Mm -hmm. somebody. You can have somebody in your house living for free and they enjoy the freedom. But somebody behind the scenes paid the price for what they enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'm on somebody. Mm -hmm. 
everything in this world will have to die in Christ. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You know, I saw many people who got pornography. It's free. Amen, somebody. But after this section, it's free. No. It is an exchange for your soul. It is an exchange for your soul. You are exchanging it for your soul. Awesome. Amen. To do the right thing before you have, you've got to have courage. You've got to have courage. Courage makes you look like you are strong. But courage in a somebody is the unbending will not to give up. Not to believe, not to surrender, but to your push you. That is your virtue. The faith, action, and belief God will provide. The faith, action, and believe God will heal. The faith, action, and believe God will set up. Come on, somebody. Give God some praise. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Give it to Jesus. So to have the backing of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. To have the backing of God is what you need in your life. Amen. Above everything else, you want God back in your life. You want God back in your decisions. And that's why it's in all, all thy ways. That is something, all thy ways. You've gone back, you've gone back, back. Amen, you have a business, you're amen, amen. You're looking for a wife, you're looking for a husband, you're amen. Problems in your home, your family, acting in your own And he shall do what? Direct my paths. Come on, somebody. He shall do what? Direct. Why does he want to direct your path? Because the devil is in the details of your life. Many of us are looking at the outcome and saying, The devil, look what he do. That outcome happened because Satan was working in the details of your life. The small little things you look over, the small little things you took for granted, the small things that you saw, the nice thing that Those small things, what you say, that it takes to create great destruction. And the same of God is in the details of your life. Awesome. We can come up to church and we can jump and sing and dance and we can hold up a Bible. Come on, somebody. Then we can pick up our mic and we can quote a scripture later. And people will look at us down the road and say, that, that, that's a Christian melody, and that's a Christian Christian idea of somebody. But God is really in the details of our lives. They are looking at your parents and God sees your heart. God is looking at the details. Where is your heart? Where is your affection? Where is your desire? Have you, have you spent time with me today? Amen, somebody. Have you acknowledged me today? Amen. Have you asked for the leading? Amen. This morning of the Spirit today? Amen, somebody. When you speak the words to people and you are speaking, it's the words you are speaking and telling them. Amen, somebody. Ask from the Holy Spirit. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Where is your meditation? Where is your heart? Amen, somebody. Because uh, amen, somebody. You are the temple of the Most High. And if I'm the temple of the Most High, then God must inhabit my being. God must be with me. So God is in the ditches of my life. Amen, somebody. And so when people see great things happening in my life and they say that God works Looking with that man, even someone, when they are looking at the great things, you are looking at the details of your life that is producing the great things. I was coming from the start of When you see the great things happening in the people, you say, God is the example, God is blessing that person, God is blessing that person. By you are looking at the great accomplishments. The person who accomplishes great things, they are looking at their accomplishments, they are concerned with their details. I want you to understand, I'm telling you. Because it's the details of their life that has produced 
Ya. The, the, the small things you choose to ignore, they will. The day you chose to not get up and pray, they got up and pray. The day you forgot to study the word of God, that that day God might have given you an idea that would have changed your life. And because you didn't read that book, it didn't come the God idea that God. That person took their time and revelation was still their mind. And they got an idea that changed their life. With that idea came a passion, a desire, and a strength.
Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And he said, now add to your faith. There is no one here that comes here tonight that does not have a form of faith in Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And I'm talking to faith has great and exceeded promises. But we are praying and praying and praying. Amen, somebody. But the promises is not coming. Amen, somebody. James chapter 4, verses 8. We will read tonight quickly. Verses 8. Our from tonight. James chapter 4 and verses 8. Draw nigh to God. What is that? And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts. He double minded. Be afflicted and more than a week. And let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Verses 9 is not speaking about God not to be sorry. It's speaking about repenting. It is speaking about God, I'm sorry for hurting that bird. I'm sorry for hurting that sister. I'm sorry for lying. I'm sorry for stealing. I'm sorry for trying to interfere with somebody that's on somebody else's life. I'm, I'm sorry for the life I've lived. I'm sorry, Father. I need a way out. I need to humble myself. I need to, to really seek you and, and worship you in spirit and in truth. God, I have ignored you in my daily life. I just get up in the morning. I got my teeth and take a shower. I go to work and my, the days of my life are just full of that. And I don't have time to talk with you. I don't have time to seek you. God, I have lost my passion. I have lost my desire. I have lost my fire. I've lost my love. I am, even God. I have forgotten what you have done for me. Where you have brought me from, I put it to last in my life when you brought me first. It's a broken heart. God has learned to them of a broken heart. And he's saved in the of a contrite spirit. Amen, Sabbath. Amen, Sabbath. And so we draw the line of the God to repentance. Amen, Sabbath. Amen, Sabbath. Many of us, we rather sit and think, God, can I pray for five years and eighteen years? When you want to go, this is when you pray. Only when you were in trouble, you remember. Only when you were too come, you remember. Come on, somebody. Only when you're most in trouble, you remember. Only when they have to remember me. Mm -hmm. Only when back and forth in your family, they remember me. Only when your husband wanted to leave, they remember me. Only when you was dying on a bed of affliction, they remember me. Amen. Mm -hmm. What's up, Harley? Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Only when it was in the past. God, if you bring your all the I will serve you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank my boy. Yes, if you should let that. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Come on. And so what? So what people is when you're in trouble, you're telling, you're telling God, oh, all the time, I'm nice, I'm not going to be serving. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And next time you get a hold for something, you're telling God, God, if I bring more water here, when he pull his hold, I will cut my hair, and I will stand up, I will stand up for the property. Come on, the next day, I never say that. So it is with God, people, when they're in trouble and they're back again, they want to tell it, God, all kind of things. God, I'm ready to serve you now. I'm ready to live for you now. I'm ready to love you now. I'm ready to walk with you now. All kind of promises they tell it, God. And as soon as the people who want to live, they throw it back in the old ways. Some of the people get more worse than they was before. Covenant breakers. Because God, the same way you want to hold God to His word, the same way God is telling you who He is, God wants you to be responsible for the words you have told Him, Him and somebody, for what you have committed to Him, Him and somebody. And it's that word that joins you to God, Him and somebody. St. John chapter 50 says, If my words abide in you, Him and somebody, Him and somebody, and your words abide in me, you can ask. Whatsoever you will, and it shall be established. And many of us want God to establish things in our life, and we are able to keep the commitment we have made to God. Amen, somebody. I'm speaking to somebody today. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh. And purify your hearts in double-minded. For a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You've got to have priority to your life. You've got to put God first. If the foundation of your life is not putting God first, when the storm of life comes, every time it comes, the foundation of your life is going to be shaken. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. When Satan attacks your heart, amen, somebody. With the things that you love, you're going to always be shaken. If you attack your children, you're going to be shaken. If you attack your wife or husband, you're going to be shaken. If you attack you in the church, you're going to be shaken. If you attack you in the job of business, you are going to be shaken. Why does Satan shake you up to crumble your life? If you build your marriage and home, your life and whatever, whatever you do, you build it by God, upon God. Whatever comes your way is going to stand. It cannot crumble. God cannot crumble. God cannot fail. God cannot be destroyed. And he said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yeah. Amen. 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 Be afflicted and grow and weak and let your last turn the morning and let your joy to heaven humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. What does that mean to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord? Notice God as you wake you up every morning. Many of us we know that God waking up every morning, but we don't we do not give him the honor. We do not, even though in our heart of hearts, we know it's like, God, I'm living and breathing in us. But am I giving him the honor? Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I giving him the honor? Every day to say, God is here. You are first this morning. You are first every morning in my life. You 
you are first when I go to hell in my life. You are first in everything I do. You are first when I remember the new. You are first. You are first. You are first. You are first. That's a lot. Because that thing said, look, seek me first. If you want everything to be added, he said you've got to seek me first. And said, if you seek me first in my kingdom, all of these things, I think you're walking about, things you're crying about, things that you're broken about, things you want to be healed about, all of these things, I, the Lord, will add to you. I will add the things of days, health, strength, I will recover you. Amen, somebody. They wanted the proof of what your name is. How strong it is. How 
might be there. Don't, don't look at my small thing. Don't look at my short soul. I will eat you up.
this side. It was nothing to happen, God can't do. 
God will bring you out of death. There is a solution. There is a miracle on the way. But there are things that the Lord wants you to correct in your life. And put in order and put in place. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. But it's going to bring you peace and life. It's going to bring you peace and life. He said, he said for the beginning, and mind is dead, but to be spiritually minded to life. And if you want life, life can improve when there is death. Sickness, when it is in the is. That's why the blood of Jesus must come in. But we can have access. And to the throne of grace is the mighty name of Jesus. And the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. The